12 minutes and it's only other on page factors. Um, and the great thing is that, you know, we now have a skeleton for the website. We can pick and choose the modules that we want to have. So, for example, uh, business profiles, as I mentioned before, news and articles, uh, other widgets on the page. So, for example, in real estate, we have a, a hot markets widget. Uh, the link architecture of your site really determines where you're putting the emphasis according to search engines. I don't know how many of you are familiar with PageRank. Um, and really the foundation of, of, of the Google algorithm. Um, and so one of the things we needed to do was we needed our sites to be able to adapt to changes in search patterns. So for example, uh, six months ago, Orlando may have been a really hot market in the United States. And so we wanted to link from our hot markets widget from the home page to Orlando. And that may change over time. So we needed to be able to modify our hot markets widget based on where we saw the searches coming from. So in effect, and this is a very early version, but there's, there's a little bit of an intelligence behind the site um, so that it, it is changing according to what it is seeing in changes in search patterns. Uh, so that the site is constantly reflecting what the flavor of the day is. Um, and there's really minimal resources involved here. So, um, you know, we have a writer that writes content for the site. We have a an HTML you know, programmer or a, a little bit level developer who's a site manager and a designer. And you can go on to the next page. Um, this is an example of home improvement site that we launched. Right? It's got 30,000 locations in the United States with a business directory for plumbers and electricians. It's got over 300 articles on various home improvement uh, topics. And if you're a consumer and you want to you know, get a quote, you can do so, and that's the foundation of our business, right? We, we are in the arbitrage space, connecting people with businesses. Um, and so we can launch a site, you know, in, in about a week, um, and the cost of the resources is around seven to $10,000. Um, and in my prior life, I was a director of business development for Ducati Motorcycles. I spent two years living in Italy, and, and my job was to start up Ducati.com. Before I got there, we, we didn't have an internet presence. Um, and in two years, it was really just, it was an amazing experience. We did $70 million in two years. Those of you who know motorcycles know that you can sell Ducati owners, you know, Ducati branded crap, and they'll buy it. Um, and, uh, but through that experience, I, I, I realized what the cost was, you know. To, to build some of the sites that we have today would cost, you know, in excess of $100,000. But because of our utilization of .NET Nuke, um, skinning capabilities that it has, the, what I call, um, module-based development aspects of it. Um, it allows us to, to fairly easily develop and, and maintain the sites. Um, so we have an ongoing average cost of, you know, two to $3,000 a month for fresh content, uh, going out promoting the site so that we're building links so that the site continues to perform well in organic search. Um, we can go to the next slide off. This is probably more information than I should share, but you know, you spend seven to ten thousand dollars to build a site, and two to three thousand dollars a month to maintain it. Um, but our model has shown that after six months, the site is making ten thousand dollars a month, fifteen thousand dollars a month, twenty thousand dollars a month, um, and we're launching more and more sites. And so that's really at the core of the data bank business model: is that you know, over the next three years, we'll build sites in a hundred different categories, similar to something like what IAC has done with LendingTree or Match.com or Ask.com. Uh, but at a fraction of the overhead. Uh, very quick return on investment, uh, low cost to grow. In the last year, we've increased our revenues by almost 600%, but we've only increased our expenses by 64%. So it's a good business model. Um, and .NET Nuke allows us to do um, what we need to do to create a great user experience. Um, and so we get a very, very good conversion rate on the traffic on our website to some sort of monetizable action. <coughs> Go to the next slide. Uh, so this is where we're going. Uh, we've got a pretty good um, footprint in finance. We're always adding new features and functionalities so that we can sort of move beyond being just an arbitrage, you know, online marketing player. We can really provide value to consumers and businesses. Uh, we've had over a thousand financial services brokers add themselves to our directories over the last year uh, because we give them free exposure on pages that show up at the top of the search results for the types of terms that they themselves would like to be ranking for but can't achieve. Um, and you can really apply this to any category. So, you know, we have a site, which I'm really proud of, uh, treatmentforaddiction.com. Um, it's got um, over 
5,000 treatment resources in a, in a local directory. So if you're looking for drug rehab or 12-step program in you know, Phoenix, Arizona, you can find information about those programs. Those programs can come and build a free profile. If you've been through the program, you can rate and review the program. If you want to find someone who's uh, been in recovery for five years from alcoholism within 20 miles of Orlando, Florida, you can do that and build your sober connections. Um, we have a module that we've built um, that manages our clinician's corner where every month we have a different clinician that does sort of a Dear Abby Q&A. Um, and you can apply that sort of methodology of local business resources, great editorial and social media functionalities to any category. So, you know, in first quarter of next year we're launching PET. You know, massive 30,000 page website with local pet resources. If I want to find a veterinarian in Orlando or a dog park or a grooming facility, I can do so. I can rate and review it. I can build a profile with me and my chihuahua, find someone else who has a chihuahua, and really create this interactive experience. And it becomes a great advertising platform for pet insurance and pet medication, right? Um, one of the things we're starting to do now, we haven't done it, but um, my um, VP of business development is establishing the relationships is to start to provide some of the modules that we've built to other people. Um, either managing a folder on their website or through um, management of a subdomain. Um, but if you had someone, for example, who had a golf website and they wanted to allow people to um, you know, uh, add their golf business in a golf directory, we can give them the entire directory component. There aren't a lot of places today where you can go and plug and play an entire national business directory into your website. We're moving in that direction to provide this you know, software as a service. Um, they can pay for it. We can advertise golf products and services on it if they choose not to pay for it and go with the free um, licensing model. Um, and it also works really well with search engines because now you have uh, you know, a, for example, a, a local treatment center that wants to use one of the modules that we've built on their website, and of course, embedded in that module on the front end is a link back to us, so we have treatment centers linking back to our treatment site. We continue to grow our position as really an authority in a particular category on the web. And I won't go through a whole thing on search engine optimization, but um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a killer application way of developing real estate property on the internet. You constantly are growing your uh, presence in the space. Um, and again, a pretty small team. Um, people are always constantly amazed when they come into our office for the amount of property that we've built on the web over the last year and the quality of the property that we're building. Um, Rob doesn't have a tremendous amount of support. He's got three or four great developers that he works with, but we're a relatively small team. How many people do we have total? Uh, four people, right? Will consults with us. Um, we outsource to a group in West Palm Beach, Arrow. Uh, great guys. Um, you know, they have three guys that we work with. Um, Y'all know Ryan Morgan. That's mm -hmm. Arrow. We work closely with Ryan and Raul. And um, we have a team that does online marketing for us, link development, content development. But it, it's a pretty small group. We've got 16, 17 people. Um, and I think we spit out the leading you know, treatment prediction website in two weeks on the internet. And we're going to keep doing that in different categories. You go to the next slide. Um, I think this is the last slide, but um, what I want to do is really just give exposure to what .NET Nuke as a framework has done for us. Um, I've got to spend time with uh, a number of developers, and so I want to sort of share the, the business side of what can be done with .NET Nuke. Um, I can relate to kind of the developer mentality and how I look at search engines. For a long time I was coming up with great ideas, but I couldn't figure out the business application for it, how to make money off of it. Um, and so I think we've uh, been able to at least start that journey with DataBank, um, and hopefully we'll get some juices flowing in terms of you know the applications that you're building, uh, or the things that you're doing in your day-to-day -day work, and how you may be able to spin those off into a successful business. Um, being technology-driven allows us to keep our overhead very low keep our burn down as a business. Um, again, the focus on search is something that's at the, at the core of what we do. Um, building sites very, very quickly, also managing a network. Um, just anecdotally, I've had the opportunity to meet with um, some of the larger domain partners.